you guys. So I have shown my chicken noodle soup, turkey noodle soup recipe probably a handful of times here on my channel, but every single time I talk about my soup, somebody asks me for a recipe. And I always say like, oh, I kind of showed it in this vlog if you want to go check it out. Um, but I decided since I'm making my turkey noodle soup, I would go ahead and film it for a recipe video really quick um, vlog style not super in-depth or anything but just show you my process but because I've shown it a couple of different times on my channel I wanted to mix it up a little bit so I'm going to do it in my pressure cooker today this is the Kasori pressure cooker you guys have seen it before I love the Kasori products I actually just purchased myself an air fryer from Kasori um, this pressure cooker was actually sent to me from that company, but I loved it so much that when it came time for me to buy an air fryer, um, I bought from that company. They didn't send it to me. I actually bought it. That's how much I love their products. But this is not a video sponsored by Kasori, so let's move on from that. Um, I wanted to show you guys my super quick turkey noodle soup recipe, and I wanted to do it a little bit different. So I have never actually made it in the pressure cooker. In fact, I've never used any other function other than just like the manual pressure cooker settings. So I'm going to try the saute setting today. Um, kind of work with it this way. But first I got to chop a bunch of vegetables. So the turkey for this recipe is coming from a leftover turkey that I roasted in the oven. I always do my turkey noodle soup with leftover turkey. Um, so we'll pull that out in a little bit. But the first step is always to chop your vegetables. So what I do is I do celery, carrots, and onion, sort of the holy trinity, right? And I'm just gonna chop everything into kind of bite-sized pieces. Um, obviously, I'm gonna peel the carrots. I'm not gonna do this on camera because I don't have my tripod set up. I'm just doing this vlog style by hand. Um, so you guys will just kind of see, this is what it looks like right now. We have some carrot sticks that we ate with our, um, we had chicken wings last night, some buffalo wings. Um, and I served that with celery sticks that were chopped up. So this is the celery I'm going to use for my soup. It's just leftover. It's looking a little sad, but that's the perfect um, thing to use for soup. It's a soup is a great way to use up leftovers, right? So I'm going to chop these. I'm going to chop this. I'm going to peel and chop this. I've also got some olive oil here and some minced garlic. So I'm just going to get to work with all the chopping and I'll come back once everything is chopped and ready and we'll put together the soup. All right, so I've prepped all my vegetables. This is carrots, onion, and celery. I went ahead and chopped up all my turkey. This was just leftover turkey breast. Um, usually I like to do my soup with, um, when we have done a whole turkey because you get a lot of the dark meat that's got a ton of flavor, but this was just a breast that I cooked up um, late last week for dinner. I had purchased three or four whole turkey breasts right after Christmas, I believe, on mega clearance. So um, we had that for dinner, and now I'm just using the leftovers for the soup. Um, I've also pulled out all of my seasonings. So I have some Italian seasoning, ground sage. This is the Trader Joe's 21 Seasoning Salute, which is delicious. I have some thyme. Um, I'm actually running low on a few of my seasonings that I use. I usually use rosemary. Um, you know, like typical Thanksgiving seasonings, but the 21 seasoning salute is kind of standing in for that. Um, and then salt and pepper as well, but I didn't grab that out. So we're going to get the actual soup going now. So I'm going to set my pressure cooker here to saute. And like I said, I've never done this before, so hopefully this isn't like rocket science and I can figure it out. I'm just going to set it to saute and start. And I'm assuming it's going to heat up right away. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in here. And I think that this is gonna beep or something when it is done um, preheating. So I'm gonna just put some olive oil in the bottom there for my vegetables so they don't stick. And then once this beeps, I'm gonna get my vegetables in and I'll check in with you guys at that point. All right, so this just beeped signaling that it is heated up and I have it on medium, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. So I'm just gonna get my vegetables in here. Nice little sizzle sound there. It's definitely heated up. Smells good already. Don't mind the mess in the background, you guys. This is real life here. 
Um, so yeah, basically this is just going to saute. I'm stirring it around to make sure all the vegetables get good and coated in that olive oil. I'm going to let this saute and cook down until the vegetables start to soften. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys how I'm going to season this up. This shouldn't take long. Maybe five or six minutes. All right, you guys, so it's been about eight minutes. These vegetables are starting to soften up a little bit. So I'm gonna get some seasoning in here and add the turkey. So I'm gonna add all the seasonings I already told you guys. And I just kind of do it by eye. I don't measure anything, um, which is the reason why I sort of don't like to do recipe videos because I'm not the type that measures a bunch of stuff. I just kind of eyeball it. This is time. You guys can't even see because I'm fogging up the lens. Real hot. Woo. We're going to add some of the 21 seasoning salute here. Some ground sage. This, of course, is like Thanksgiving in a bottle. So yummy. Smells so fragrant. And we're going to add some Italian seasoning for good measure. We're going to go ahead and give that a good stir. Get it all incorporated. And at this point, I'm also going to add in some of this minced garlic, and I need two hands for this, so BRB. So I just added that garlic in there, and I'm going to get that incorporated and let that cook for just a minute, and then I'm going to add my turkey. Yum! Get that turkey in there. And at this point, we're going to add some salt and pepper, and we're going to add some water as well. So, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so at this point, I have added about six cups of water, all of my turkey and all of my vegetables. And I went ahead and turned my saute function up to high heat and added some more time to it. Um, if this comes to a boil, I don't know how hot this gets. Um, so I'm hoping this will bring my pot to a boil here. If it does not, I'll throw the lid on and I'll pressurize it for 10 minutes or so, or five minutes or so, just to get everything heated up. But the basic idea here is that I want this to boil so that I can add my secret ingredient, which is this. So this is from Gordon Food Service and it is chicken base. So it is a super concentrated chicken flavored, um goo here it looks really gross this is the key to this soup this is so good now you can use chicken broth that you buy in like a can or you can make your own chicken broth that would probably be even better but if you want like cheater soup get this chicken base if you have a gordon food service around you if you do not the better than bullion chicken flavor works really good with this as well um and this is just going to add so much extra flavor to the soup so I'm going to let this liquid come up to a boil. At this point, everything is cooked, right? We're just adding flavor. Um, everything is cooked. These vegetables will continue to soften as they boil. Um, but at this point, we're just kind of making everything come together in a really delicious way. Everything's been seasoned up. I added salt and pepper. Um, I also added a little bit more of all of the seasonings you guys already saw me add just once I put the turkey in. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting for this to come up to a boil. And then I'll show you guys how I add this. This stuff is so delicious. All right, you guys. So this is boiling. I don't know if you can hear it. It's just a slow boil, but it's boiling. So we're going to go ahead and add our chicken base. Now, the way that this chicken base works is you are supposed to use one teaspoon for every um, cup of water. 
So I have six cups of water in here now, but it's eventually going to be eight, or I'm sorry, 12 cups. I'm gonna add more water once everything is kind of rocking here. So I'm going to add 12 teaspoons of this. That's what, like a quarter cup? Um, again, I don't really measure it, but if you guys wanna follow an exact recipe, that's what you need for this. Um, so I'm gonna get that in here while this continues to boil and um, then we'll incorporate that into our soup. So you guys didn't get to see me at it because again, only got one hand here, but it's in there. And now we're just going to stir to incorporate it. Oh my God, it smells so amazingly good, you guys. And the reason that this needs to come to a boil is obviously so that that um, paste there can dissolve, but this adds so much good flavor to the soup. It makes that broth a nice dip, uh, deep, rich color, which um, you guys can't really see because I'm using a slotted spoon, but you'll have to take my word for it. So I'm just going to let that incorporate for a few minutes. There are um, eight minutes left here on this timer, so I'm going to let this go for eight minutes, and then we're going to add some more water, and I'll show you what we're going to do next. I should mention I turned it down to low so that it doesn't scorch the bottom of my pan here. So it's going to go for about eight minutes on low. Then we're going to add some water. Okay, so those eight minutes or whatever it was are up and my pressure cooker here switched to keep warm. I'm actually going to turn this off and I'm going to add about six cups more water. Four. So that's six more cups of water, which means that the, we've got about 12 cups total. I'm going to stir and incorporate this. So yummy. And now I'm going to switch my pressure cooker here to slow cook, which is another feature that I have never used. So we're going to set it to slow cook. We're going to turn it on. And... Um, we're just gonna let this kind of simmer away on its own until I'm ready to serve it. About half an hour before I serve it, um, I'm gonna add some noodles in there so that they can cook through just by the heat of the broth there. Um, I'll stir it occasionally, but that's pretty much the soup. I'm just gonna leave the lid on and let it go. All right, so my soup has been simmering here for about an hour and a half, and it smells really good. It's looking delicious. And it's, so it's about 5.30. We want to be able to eat by 6. So I'm going to go ahead and add my noodles in here now so they can, um, so that they'll be cooked through by the time we're ready to eat. So I just have a bag of wide egg noodles here. I'm going to put about half the bag into the soup. And then I'm just going to get the lid put back on, and those are going to cook up and absorb that yummy liquid. And in about a half an hour, we'll be ready to eat. All right, you guys, so it's been about a half an hour now. My soup is done. Look at how good it looks. It turned out so good. Hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and set it to keep warm. And that's going to do it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe so that you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.